Um, we talked a long time ago, John. I have one cool stuff found on my own to add. Uh, we talked a long time ago where I was asking how people are tracking what they are watching, what shows they're watching, because with things spread all across, you know, it, it, the, the problem that TiVo solved for me years ago is no longer solved by TiVo. I don't just have one now playing list that shows me everything. And so I wound up downloading a bunch of apps and I have found I gravitated towards one called TV time. Uh, it's available for it's on the web, but it's also, of course, on iPhone, Android, all that good stuff. It it just works for me. It lists the shows. It will tell me what I can watch next. So it knows when new episodes are available of the shows that I watch. It also pays attention to if I've stopped watching a show, like if I haven't checked off a new episode recently, it'll eventually move those into a shows you haven't watched recently category. Uh, it, it really like it has helped us because there's shows we just forget that we're watching. It's like, oh, right. We were watching that show. It just, you know, if it was in like Amazon Prime is one that we don't use as frequently as, say, you know, Apple TV Plus or Netflix. And so was, we would just forget about a show that was in there. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, we can watch that show. That's great. So or if, you know, we have shows some that we, you know, have have ripped into Plex or whatever. So that this this has been fantastic. So it's called TV time. And yours, I can tell. I think it's free. I don't think I paid for it. Um, I might have paid for it. I don't know. But it it, um, it works. Whatever I paid for it, it was worth it. So there you go. That's what I got. <laughs> 